let me also, while I respond to this question, spit how long we have been thinking about this proposal. Uh, it's been over a year and a half that, uh, and right after I became the Minister of Health and Wellness, and uh, my team, I found my, my the, the, our directors came on board, and we started to look at accessibility to services and, and, and they study the trends of persons not accessing health services with the pending uh, with the with possibility of NHI rolling out and all of these things. Uh, we felt uh, that it was high time that we remove a barrier to health services, uh, especially to our vulnerable society, the people that can't afford it as well. As a area representative, I visit many of our communities, uh, especially like in my rural communities, where we see people sometimes, you go to them, they are homesick, they don't go to the hospital. Why? Because they feel that they, they don't have the money to pay for a basic service, a basic x-ray, or a basic blood works that they need to do at the hospital. And because of that, sometimes they are reluctant to go to the hospital. This really now opens an avenue to create universal access to healthcare, but it also does a lot of things. And, and, and this morning, as we are doing the vital statistics clinic here in Orange Walk at the People's Stadium for the next two days, where you see a lot of, a lot of persons with late registrations. And when I asked one, two of the persons, I went and I said, why is it that you um, did not register your child? The first response was, because I owed hospital bill. Now you can go to the hospital, have your child with maternity, there will be no maternity fees, and so you can go quickly, get your proof of birth, and get registered. So you see, it has a long and a ripple effect, and positive effect on the Belizean society.